Okay, I'm trying something new. Uh, good old dish towel, remember? I like to do stuff, I like to try new things on a dish towel. I'm gonna try to create a flower on here. Um, so we'll see what happens. I don't have all my colors in yet, so I'm gonna kind of punt on colors. All right, so I'm gonna do my flower a little bit offset. And I have been watching um, a lady, and she does a really neat job of doing it. She's actually an artist. Um, I'll try to remember to put her um, link um, down below this so you can look and look into her if you, uh, if you want. Um, and I kind of want the flower about here. So I'm going to start um, with uh, folds that will put a quarter of my flower right here. All right, so what she did, i to make sure that it's in the is she started like this and then she started folding it and she went from the corner down and then came back here got the corner and went down this will be the very center of the flower make sure it's nice and smooth and then again all right so once she did this side, my puppy is playing with something over there, making a noise. Once she did this side, she flipped it over and did this side. Now, her fabric was more conducive to this, so I'm just punting and we'll see what happens. So there's that, and then there's a fold. And one more fold. Alright, so there's the start of it. Now, she used a clip to kind of mark where the flower would end and then whatever else would begin. So, I remember I, I don't have all my colors, so um, my greenery is not going to necessarily be all green. <laughs> So I want the flower to stop about here because I have a little bit of fabric still left off one of my folds. Let me move that down just a little bit. There we go. Because I want some greenery there. And this will come off when I start to, oh, I've got something on there. Um, I think I have black on my fingers and it went onto my clip. That's okay. This is just a test. Um, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to start to dye this and we're going to see what happens. How about them apples? Okay. Okay, so this is going to be an ice dye, and you've seen that before. And what she did is once she got it onto her area, she took this portion and unraveled it. And I'm going to scrunch it up. So I'm not doing it exactly like she does it, just because I don't have all the equipment that she does. And this is a dish towel, it's not silk or anything fancy. So but she kind of undoes it, all of it, to where it's um, on this side. There we go. So I'm gonna unsquinch all this. And I'm just gonna squinch it up a little bit, like you would uh, on a t-shirt. Sure that it's all kind of loose. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to undo this. Yeah, I have some ink on there. That's okay. I'll survive. And I'm just holding on to the flower portion so that it doesn't come unraveled while I'm messing with the rest of this. Um, on this ice dye, um, she actually puts the ice on first, and then, and then puts the uh, ink on top, on top of the ice. So, I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to put the ice on, and remember I'm going to put the 
what is going to be uh, flower stuff here. And then what would be greenery is going to go in here. So let's get the ice. sprinkles dye onto the ice. So this is going to be the end, or the center rather, of the flower. So we'll see what happens there. It's black. And then I've got a few different colors of red. I've got Chinese red. And you sit it there and you just let it set for 18, 24 hours, which is pretty normal for when I'm starting to hear more. I may actually put a form around this too. It may be better off. Um, so, all right, we'll see what happens. Update. I did decide to go ahead and put um, a, a, just a cardboard form around this. And then I added more ice to the top of the die. So it's uh, basically um, fabric, ice, dye, ice. So we'll see what happens. All right, now wash out the towel. We'll see what happens here. Wash out for the towel. in a wash. Okay, here is uh, the dish towel. These dish towels are really inexpensive and really cheap and I think I'm paying for it in the, the quality and the thickness of the material. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish using the ones that I have though because uh, I can still use them in my kitchen, and um, then I'm going to make sure that I get thicker ones in the future. Um, for the overall design, I like the overall design. I love the flower. I think the flower turned out really pretty. Uh, the colors turned out very interesting. Um, next to it, I kind of wanted a um, foliage look. And I kind of got like a foliage sky look. It's almost like I'm looking up at the flower uh, through the foliage into the sky. And so I kind of like that. I think that's really pretty. Um, I'll be doing this one again, and I probably am going to try to do something like this on a shirt. I may actually try to do um, a shirt with a couple of uh, flowers on them because I really like the way this turned out. Um, okay, I want to know what you think. Let me know. Um, also, if anybody out there does towels, white uh, dish towels, let me know where you get them, would you?